2023, the global sugar consumption reached 175.56 million tons, with 60 tons of sugar being extracted from sugar beets every hour. But how is sugar produced from this strange root vegetable? Let's explore how a factory produces 1.4 million tons of sugar each year from this root vegetable in today's video. It's 150 years ago, it was discovered that sugar could be extracted from sugar beets. In 1747, the German chemist Andreas Sigismund Margraf proved that sugar from sugar beets is no different from sugar from sugar cane. While sugar cane only grows in tropical regions, sugar beets can thrive in colder and less fertile soils, opening up opportunities for areas that don't have sugar cane but can grow beets. By the early 19th century, sugar beet processing plants had started appearing in Northern Europe. In England, over 2 million tons of sugar were consumed each year, and unexpectedly, more than half of it was produced from sugar beets. This made sugar beets an important source of sugar in many countries. Everything starts in the spring when the fields awaken from their winter sleep and are prepared for planting. Farmers collaborate with crop experts to plan the sowing, choose seeds, and test the soil. For sugar beets to grow well, the soil needs to ensure sufficient potassium, nitrogen, and phosphorus. The soil also needs to maintain appropriate moisture so the beets can thrive, drawing nutrients from deep in the ground through their long tap roots. With tiny seeds, these seeds are carefully nurtured, planted, and meticulously cared for to grow strong. The beet fields are precisely seeded by machines. One hectare of land can contain up to 100,000 beet plants. After about 180 to 210 days, the sugar beets reach ideal maturity thanks to the process of photosynthesis. The beet plant absorbs sunlight and converts it into chemical energy, storing sugar in its roots. Sugar beets need a significant amount of sunlight to effectively synthesize sugar. Sunlight converts CO2 from the air along with water and nutrients from the soil into sucrose. The beets then store the sugar as an energy reserve in their roots. The beet plant's body can absorb about 20% of the sugar. It also produces oxygen, with each hectare producing enough oxygen for 100 people to breathe for a whole year. Sugar beets are harvested from September to February the following year at more than 3,500 farms in eastern England. When the beets reach the optimal size and sugar content, harvesting begins. 
In Norfolk, processing plants can handle up to 3 million tons of sugar beets each year, accounting for two-thirds of England's production. On average, it takes about seven beets to produce the pounds of sugar. As harvest season arrives, it's not just about pulling the beets out of the ground. To extract the optimal amount of sugar, the harvesting must be done carefully to preserve the entire beet. Each beet weighs about two pounds, with 17% sugar, 75% water, and 8% other substances. The harvesting, transportation, and processing happen continuously day and night. Modern harvesters can collect six rows of beets at once. Special blades cut off the leaves, keeping the valuable roots. After the beets are pulled up, they are sent to a cleaning system where 13 rollers remove the dirt and impurities cling to the beets. These harvesters can collect more than 25 tons of beets per hour. After harvesting, the beets are temporarily stored at the edge of the fields before being transported to the processing plant to be turned into sugar. At the factory, the beets are inspected, weighed, and ensured to meet the input quality standards. First, the beets are placed in a rotating trunk, where under a stream of water, they rub against each other to remove the dirt. The water helps the beets float, and they are then released from the drum. The stones are kept and collected in bins along the edge of the rotating drum. However, there are still leaves mixed with the beets. The beets are sent into another rotating drum that works like a giant washing machine. Once the beets are completely cleaned, they are cut into smaller pieces. The sharp blades of the cutter slice the beets into thin slices like potato chips. These thin slices move on a conveyor belt into a large hot water tank where they are soaked for a few minutes. This helps the beet cells start to break open facilitating the extraction of sucrose in the next steps. At this stage, the beet strips are moved to the bottom of a 22-yard about 20 meters extraction tower. A rotating shaft inside the tower slowly carries them upward against the flow of 70 to degrees Celsius hot water flowing downward. This process lasts about 90 minutes, extracting nearly 90% of the sugar from the beets. The resulting sugar solution is called raw juice. The beet pulp after extraction is pressed into pulp and used as animal feed. The next step is to refine this raw juice, calcium hydroxide or milk of lime, is added to the solution in several stages. Then, CO2 gas is introduced into the mixture, helping to absorb impurities, 
allowing the sugar solution to be filtered clean. After filtering, the raw juice becomes a yellowish, diluted sugar solution. The diluted sugar solution is then put through six stages of evaporation, creating a thick syrup solution containing 67% sugar. To create white sugar crystals, seed sugar crystals are added to the thick syrup and stirred, gradually cooling to allow the sugar crystals to grow evenly. After about 3.5 hours, the crystals reach the desired size and are separated from the molasses by a centrifuge. The molasses solution is also used in animal feed production. The sugar crystals are then washed with hot water to increase their purity, then dried and passed through a sieve to remove any crystals that are too large. These large crystals will be dissolved and go through the crystallization process again. And finally, this is the end product of a large-scale sugar production campaign. After being dried and quality checked, the sugar is packaged and prepared for shipping. This product not only serves the daily needs of consumers, but also provides ingredients for the food processing industry, making dishes and drinks sweeter and more appealing, contributing to the global food industry. So we've explored the journey from sugar beets to the pure sugar crystals in everyday products. If you found this video interesting and useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss the latest videos about unique and fascinating production processes from around the world. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.